Alrighty guys, hi, it's Amanda. I am back with another video. Today is going to be a nail video. Now, um, this, as you can tell, let me zoom you guys in just a little bit. The set I currently have on is the set that I last filmed. And you can tell there has been a lot of growth. My nails grow really, really quickly. So um, today, these are still like rock solid on. Like there is a little bit of lifting down at the edges here, but that is it. Otherwise, these are not wanting to <laughs> come off and I really don't want to go through the feet of trying to soak them off. So what I am going to do is I'm going to shave down everything to the nails that we initially put on from the one, two, three, go set. And then I am going to do a fill. I watched, I went back and watched some of Max Estrada's recommendations on how to fill. Sorry for the moving guys. I'm trying to get used to doing these kind of videos from this angle. Um, Alrighty guys, hi, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the angle, this is pro this is going to be a nail video. A couple of disclaimers, I am not a professional nail technician. I have kind of just learned how to do this from watching tutorials and being on YouTube. So take what you see with a grain of salt. Um, but with that being said, let's get into the video today. I'm going to apologize ahead of time for any harshness in the filming. This is a new angle and stuff that I'm trying to get used to filming from. So with all of that bared in mind, as you can tell, this is the set that we had on that I put on in my last nail video. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see the amount of growth. I have my nails grow relatively quickly. Um, these nails are not ready to come off. They are still very solidly on. There's hardly any lifting even down at the cuticles. There's no lifting underneath. Sorry, my finger, my skin cracked because it's gotten dry here. Um, but I don't want to try and soak these off. I feel like that may be more to bargain than to just file everything down to the original nail and like refill, refill, so to say. I have gone back and watched some of Max Estrada's videos on how he recommends a refill. So I am going to be doing what he did in some of his tutorials, which is just shave everything down to just the um, nail that you glue on. And then once everything's clean, you prep your natural nail that's showing, and then you go in with a layer of his base coat and then you cure it, or base gel, sorry. Then you cure it, and then you decorate your nails as you typically would for a fresh set. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see the growth that I have had so you know what we're working with. So I have had quite a bit of growth, and I believe it's been two weeks, maybe a little bit of over two weeks. I did start losing some of the gems uh, about a week in, and that's just because I don't think I have a good system on putting as many rhinestones on my nails. Typically, I will only put one, and I'm the kind of person that once one is gone, I want them all gone. So I did kind of pull these off as... Uh, as they were falling off, so it does look a little bit weird, but we're gonna fix all of that today. So I'm going to zoom you out, and I'm going to be using my electric file. Again, please don't use like my techniques and stuff as how it's supposed to be done. I'm not a professional. I have just watched how people do it on YouTube and have taken and learned from that, so. I would suggest it watching uh, people who are more skilled. There are some professional nail techs on YouTube that show how they do their work. So I am hopefully going to figure out how to put music over and fast forward this um, so you guys don't have to listen to it all, but you can see it all.
Ow. Okay guys, so what I am realizing, I have not tried to ever take off a set like this. I am realizing that the bit that I am using is not coarse enough to be like really grabbing it and pulling the layers off. So I'm going to try a couple of different ones that I have. I don't have a large collection of bits. Um, I just have a few. So I'm going to try and see what takes this off the best and then I will come back once I have everything shaved off. And if I end up not being able to get it done this way, then I will probably just soak them off and come back with my fresh, my natural nails only. I will see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so I was able to get everything, all of the gel polish and everything off of my nails. Um, I used a coarser bit that I had and it took a lot less time and I just used the drill on a higher speed. So now that I have everything off of my nails, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, work on my cuticles and then I'm going to prep my natural nails and then I'm going to do the layer of the base gel and cure it and then we'll do decoration so I'm gonna start pushing back my cuticles and like I said before I take my nail care with a grain of salt I have terrible cuticles um, I'm not the best at doing care with my cuticles and I probably don't do this step right so I am just going to continue to do this and then clip them and get my nail plates clear. I will be back in a minute. Okay guys, so I have done all of my natural nail prep to the best that I can, can do with my cuticles. So now what I am going to do is I am going to take a nail file and I'm going to file these down. Um, and then you will probably see me using a couple of different files here. Um, just depending on what I'm doing, this one I'm going to use for roughing up my natural nail and blending in what's left. And then these will be used for shaping. So I'm probably going to fast forward through this if I can. If not, there will be music um, in, laid in the background.
Okay, so I am looking up and I see a lot of my filing is done out of frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete these last two nails, get them down to the size and the shape that I want and do my right hand and then I will be back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so I have done everything. I have shaped them. I've filed some a little bit shorter than others, but that is okay with me. I am now going to um, put some on just my natural nail. I'm going to put some of the prep and then the primer and let that soak. From when I watched Max's video, ignore my cuticles. Like I said, I'm not the best at doing my cuticles. And it's gotten uh, rather cold here, so my cuticles are really... <laughs> Kind of suffering so I'm just doing these light little layer at the base where my natural nail is showing and it is overlapping a little bit with the um, gel from above with this I guess I can zoom you guys in just a little bit and show most of these nails there's not lifting between like this one there's a little bit of lifting and on my pinky there is a little bit of lifting too you can see just slightly but for the most part this hand i went in a little bit more rough with the e-file so there was a little bit more that happened there but um i think once we do the base layer and go over with the base gel it will just seal all of this in. If these come off, I'm not going to be super upset because these fake nails that are really overlaying my natural nail, you can see my natural nail is as long as this is at this at this time. Um, I won't be super upset. The reason I wear fake nails is my natural nails do grow but for some reason they are super brittle and um, even if I have like a hardener on or a gel nail polish on my natural nails still snag and um, I haven't been diagnosed with anything by any uh, nail tech before but I think I might have something like eggshell nails or something like that so I'm not a hundred percent sure that's just my assumption. But now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of primer down. I believe in my last video, somebody said that I did these steps backwards. I have gone back again and I watched Max Estrada's video and this is the way he did it. So I'm not sure if I need to get like extra clarification from other channels about which step you do first but this is the way I did it in my last video I believe and obviously the nails stayed on really well so I'm not too concerned but if you want to make sure you're doing things right just read the instructions I did read the back of these bottles to see if it was there was any information to uh, make sure I was doing them correctly and on the back of the prep bottle it says pre-prime so I, I believe I did it right maybe I did it backwards last time I didn't think I did but I put this on and then this so now that those are done we're gonna go ahead and put a layer of our base gel and then we're going to cure it in our light And I'm not making this layer, just so you guys are aware, I'm not making this layer super thick. But I do want to make sure, especially with the edges that I filed down, I do want to make sure that I am getting those edges really well. That way, it if they are compromised, it's not going to affect the longevity of the work I'm putting in now. 
So I know I've dipped into the bottle a few times, but I am not really adding much more product. I'm just trying to make sure it is fully encapsulated. And I am going to go ahead and cure my thumb. And now I'm going to go through this with each nail. So one of the things that Max says is that this gel is self-leveling. It definitely is self-leveling, but like over here, I didn't file this down enough. So I wanted to make sure that there is a good enough layer on it. A trick with gel, if you don't know, um, whenever you, and this includes gel polish, anything gel, if you hold your hand upside down, it will give you that natural curve um, with the polish. If you do that for a few seconds before you cure, it, um, it helps give that shape, that rounded out shape. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to do this for all of my nails and then I will be back and we will pick out our colors and what we're going to do today for this next set. Thank you guys. See you soon. Okay guys, so I have gone ahead and put a layer of the base gel on all of my nails. Now one thing to keep in mind is when the base gel is sticky, it even when it's cured it is sticky, it doesn't totally harden, um, or at least from what I have experienced so far. So this is still sticky, um, I've cured it for over a minute, about 90 seconds to try and <laughs> see if I could get it less sticky because I have a hard time putting nail polish on but it's still remaining sticky. It's typically when I've used it before it's been the adhesive between my natural nail and the one two three go nail. So um, I, I didn't realize this was going to stay sticky. So now what I am going to do is I'm going to paint my nails black and then I am going to use one of the nail polishes from Max Estratus brand that I showed you guys last time. And this process is gonna take a while because it is recommended to do several layers of the My Unicorn to get the actual holographic effect. So I am going to go ahead and paint all my nails for you guys here. Um, Hopefully I can fast forward it. If not, this is going to be a relatively long video. So what I'm probably going to do is do one layer of black and then uh, cure it. And then I will come back to do, once I have a good opaque layer, I'll come back and do the layers of this with you guys. So I am going to go ahead and start that now. I guess I should add because this base coat or this base gel is sticky, I did not rough the surface for this layer. And although black is relatively an opaque color, this one is not like super, super opaque. So I am going to have to do a couple of layers. I am just going to do one layer on camera and then I'm going to do the next layer oops the next layer off of camera because it may take a few layers to get to the opacity I want
Okay, so what I am going to do now is I'm going to go back and I am going to clean up my cuticles. And you guys have probably seen, I am not the most cleanly when it comes to, I don't know if cleanly is the word, I'm not the most neat when it comes to um, my nail polish. I typically happen to get it a little bit everywhere. So I'm going to cure these. I understand I haven't done my thumb yet. I'm going to cure these and then I'm going to do another layer and do my thumb off of camera and then we'll be back and uh, we will put the next layer of our nail polish on. Okay guys, so as you can see, all of my nails are painted black. Ignore my mess ups as always. There's always gonna be a few. I happen to hit the bottle with the back of my hand. So once this stuff is all done, I will <laughs> scrub that part off. So now I'm gonna go in with this. This is the, um, my Little Unicorn from Max Estrada's brand, Enail Couture. This is in three. Um, there are two sets. This one is like a, a black with holographic sp uh, sparkle specs. I don't know. So I'm going to do at least one, maybe two he recommends five layers. I just want my nails to be shiny. I don't like pure black even though it looks nice. I like something else to be on my nails. So I want to try one of these out since I bought them. I haven't. So I'm going to start off with one layer. And this stuff, just so you guys know, it, it has a pretty potent smell. So I'm going to make sure to give a good layer over my nails. I'm going to go just do my left hand right now and then I'm going to cure it. These have to cure for a little bit longer. I think he said five minutes. I can't remember. Okay, so I have a good layer on, this is, it's hard to really, there you can see it on that thumbnail, um, the shift in the colors. So I'm going to cure this, it's going to take a while, I'm going to go ahead and do all my layers on both hands and then I will be back with you guys to show what this turns out to be and then um, we'll do the top coat. Alrighty guys, so we are back. I ended up doing three layers of the My Little Unicorn in the shade three. My left hand is finishing curing its last layer and then we are going to top coat and then I will, you guys can kind of see it, I will zoom in for you, let you see what it looks like and maybe use my cell phone flashlight to show a little bit more of the sparkle that's occurring. So here we go with the top coat. Try to make sure I stay in frame. So if you guys are interested in getting this holographic stuff from Enail Couture. The only thing I am going to say is the 
It does take multiple layers and I probably should have done a couple more to be honest to get that full opacity but I am running out of patience <laughs> so I am not going to do that but aside from that it does have a very very strong odor unlike any other nail polish odor I have smelled before it also is like very thin not as far as like the nail polish itself goes but the consistency of it is very thin and runny and it has ran into almost all of my cuticles as I'm sure you can see I am hoping that I can take some acetone and get that off of my skin <laughs> I mean in time we all know if you do your nail polish it will wash off so I understand the final shots of this um, set is probably not going to be the most appealing because of that. I will just have to be mindful next time maybe use some latex around my cuticles so it doesn't pull into them. That's always something you can do if you're not good at nail polish or if you don't have a steady hand and you're worried about seepage or it spilling out is to get... Um, most most places where you can purchase nail polish is going to have it nowadays. It's just, I think it's called like uh, nail latex or cuticle latex, something like that. You just paint it on where you don't, like around your nail beds. You paint it around your nails. And then whenever you're done with your nail polish, you can just peel it right off. So it doesn't... Um, affect your final product. Sorry, I lost train of thought for what I was saying. So we're going to let this cure. I've got to cure my left hand as well. But while these cure, I hope you guys are all having a good day. If you guys have any questions, I know these nail videos are hit and miss and I totally understand why. Um, I'm not the best at it but it's something that I'm gonna be spending my time on and I know a few of my subscribers have asked for these videos, so I am gonna to continue to make them and continue to try and do different things. This top coat is a no wipe top coat. So I have used this a couple of other times, but I can't remember if I like the finish. I'm gonna let this hand finish curing, then I will cure this hand and we will be right back for the final shots. Alrighty guys, so here we are with the final nails. I am going to go ahead and take some alcohol and one of my little wedgies. You guys know I've used these before and I am going to wipe down my nails even though this is a no wipe top coat I still always wipe down my nails a good amount uh, a lot of that is to get any of the stickiness off of my fingers or my fingertips especially since the base gel was extremely sticky and I didn't anticipate it to be this just gets that little bit of residue off of my fingers and then once we're finished with this I will go wash my hands obviously so I'm gonna wipe down where I can feel some stickiness much better so let me turn that off I am going to put a quick little bit of cuticle oil not that it's gonna make a difference because a lot of like I had said a lot of that um holographic my little unicorn stuff a lot of that was <laughs> seeped into my nail beds so I tried particularly I don't know if particularly I focused a lot more when I did the black nail polish on not getting that in my cuticles or on my skin because it's black and you know I don't want it to peel up or chip this Na nail cuticle cuticle oil geez is uh really nice it's actually um scented like cotton candy so i really enjoy this i only have bought one other kind so you can kind of see the nails i'm going to try to zoom you guys in and hope that this will help and if it doesn't then i will 
get my phone camera so you can see the reflection. So you can kind of see it. Let me get closer. There, you can see the speckles. This nail has a uh, dog hair in it. The joys of having dogs, you can see that up at the top. So you can really see it more on my thumbs from the right angle, what the effect is. Let me see if I can get my, there you go. That is the sparkly realness from the My Little Unicorns from Max Estrada. And he has the brand email Couture, which is owned by him. He has uh, several others. I've show I showed these in my last one. He's got a lot. The one that we used today was number three, and I can't remember exactly what set it's from. I'm trying not to let my phone screen go off. <laughs> so this, is it gonna show? Let me see if I can. Is it gonna focus? That is what it looks like in the bottle. I don't know if that's doing it justice. It's, it is very, very pretty. Um, it's harder to see on camera than I thought it would be. But I am overall happy with these. I'm not going to put any gems on. A lot of that is because I'm not sure the longevity of these. I have never used just the base gel as like an extender. I know there is a brand and I can't remember the brand name. But there is a brand that has builder gel in a bottle. It may be by the bottle company, and I believe you have to have a license to get that because I've tried and I wasn't able to. Um, because a lot of the reason, like I said earlier, that I wear any kind of nail is because my natural nails are just too brittle and I like to have some kind of nail. So guys, this is the final look. I know they're not being, it's really hard to tell on camera, but that is the process to do a fill with uh, base gel from Enail Couture. And I have demoed the My Little Unicorn in the shade three. I do have the other shades and at some point I will probably utilize those, but I hadn't used them in our last set and I wanted to go ahead and see what they looked like. I am happy with them in person, but its I'm not gonna lie, it's not the effect I thought it would be. I think the next venture I'm gonna have is to get some chrome powders, cause that's really the effect I thought these nail polishes would have. But it really just looks like a whole lot of glitter on my fingernails. Not like the texture, but when you really look at it, it looks like micro fine. Like you can see the different pigments. And from afar, it looks good and shiny and it's showing all of those colors. But up close, it's just, I don't like how that looks. So I may try and get a chrome powder and see if that's going to provide me the shiny metallic finish that I was hoping these would provide. But until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the products I used or if I did anything incorrectly, please leave it down in the comment sections. I'm always looking for um, new or different ideas. And you guys have actually taught me a couple of things in the comments and in my DMs. So with that being said, I hope you all are having a good day, evening, or night, wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.